Beautiful Pisces, this is Tammy from Spot On Psychic Readings. I just wanted to start by thanking you all so much for all of your support for my channel. My channel's just sort of blown up <laughs> over the last week or so, and it's been quite a roller coaster ride, and it's all because of you all just being so supportive with all of your likes and your comments and you know, I'm really glad that the videos are resonating with you. So I just wanted to let you know, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. I cannot do this without you. It's all because of you guys. So thanks. So I want to um, jump right into your reading Pisces and I'm going to do the Enchanted Path cards for you first and then we'll go to the tarot and clarify. But I thought this would be a good way. I don't know. I go with what the guides kind of encourage me to do and so this is where we're going to start today i got the goosebumps already this card moved what does this mean field of dreams wow okay pisces this card literally you see it kind of floated across the table <laughs> um this is having to do with you um you know if you build it they will come basically is what this means so you know, if you're thinking about building a business or building a home, or if you're thinking about making something, um, building something energetically, um, go ahead and do it because this will make your dreams come true. Okay. If you build it, they will come and it's they coming is whoever you want to come into your life. If you're looking for a relationship, make that space for that person. Okay. That sort of thing. Think of it in terms of that. Okay. I hadn't even finished pulling the cards and they're showing me that. So for some of you, I think it's a new home. Could actually be that you're building some sort of a um, outdoor space to do sports in or something like that. Field of dreams. Um, however that resonates for you, it's what it's about. And I've got so many goosebumps on that. Okay, so let's pull these Pisces and see this is our first overview our kind of snapshot of your energy and then um, we'll get more cards of clarification so hang in there with me as I build this reading for you okay so some of you may have felt like you have been in the ghost lands this is the ghost lands card okay you may have felt like you um, were someplace where the energy just wasn't there anymore you may be feeling like you're living somewhere where you're kind of in a ghost town you know where it's just not happening for you and it, it, it did come up reversed too. So it's sort of telling me it's causing a problem for you at this time, very significant for some of you. And maybe where you are is just, um, could be haunted. Like where you're living, your house might be haunted. Uh, you might be dealing with a lot of spirit activity, things like that. Um, but for some of you, just no energy at all. Like you just feel like you're in a wasteland at the moment, okay? This is having to do with the sacred pool. This is such a beautiful card and a beautiful energy. This is having to do with you using your spiritual gifts and your talents and your skills to help people. And when you put that help and energy and healing out there, it's reflected back to you because this is a very reflective card. So just know that when you're using your gifts, what you're sending to people is being reflected back to you, okay? Okay, some of you may be feeling very independent at this time. This is a one ring circus. Some of you may be feeling like you're in a circus and you're the only one performing, <laughs> okay? Some of you may be feeling like you're just kind of stuck out there in your one ring all alone. You know, he's out in the middle of the water on that elephant, okay? And some of you might just be feeling stuck. This is a situation of like, you want help. You feel like you need help, some of you, okay? Um, you might be feeling like your prayers are not being answered or heard, okay? Because this did come up upside down, the magic prayers card. But this is, this is really um, reassurance for you that your prayers are being heard. And it's coming up right next to this metamorphosis card. Pisces, a lot of you are already going through this metamorphosis or will be soon. And it is going to be bringing in a lot more inner strength. And a lot of you may be working on your inner or outer strength at this time. This is definitely um, showing somebody going to great effort to get where they want. And it's also the card of number 44, which I always think of as angel numbers. So there's a lot here wrapped up with 
um, divine um, guidance, divine order, your angels, and your inner strength. Your inner strength, your outer strength, um, strengthening your body, healing, all sorts of things with this card, okay? There is, um, what's coming up in your future, Pisces, is um, you really coming to life. I feel like you've been through a situation of this ghost lands where you feel like maybe the energy wasn't there for you and you're doing a lot of work. You're doing a lot of your spiritual work, um, you know, which is shown in the sacred pool, a lot being reflected back to you. You may have felt drained by some of that and now you're really coming back to life. So I feel like you've kind of already gone through this metamorphosis um, as it shows this card. This is the card of encouragement and um, it's got the giraffes on it. Giraffes keep showing up a lot for me as a symbol of um, 5D for some reason. It's some really random sign that my guides gave me about giraffes in 5D. They said when I see giraffes in my backyard, I'll know I'm in 5D. <laughs> so um, I feel like this is for some of you and this is also the card of encouragement and number 54, okay? Um, sometimes they tell me to give you numbers, sometimes they don't. So just, just so you know why I'm randomly giving numbers. So let's get a little bit more information, Pisces, because I think that's really a good snapshot of what's going on in your life at this time. And let's see what else for Pisces, what else is coming up for Pisces. There may be memories about the past coming up or past people coming up for some of you, Pisces. This is a Six of Cups. And you may be thinking about children. You may be thinking about your own childhood through your children in that sort of way. Um, but I do feel like there may be somebody kind of showing up from the past. This is somebody that may have been, this is the hermit, and this may have been somebody that has been gone for a long time or kind of in their own space and their own energy. This can also be Virgo energy, okay? For some of you dealing with a Virgo. Here's um, the Queen of Cups. She did come up reversed, okay, Pisces? So this Queen of Cups is telling me she wants to be really heart-centered, but maybe she's feeling that she has to um, be more in this 3D energy at this time, and it's a bit of a conflict, you know? Like you wanna lead with your heart, but you got all these chores to do, and you got work to do, and it takes you away from that sense of feeling that you wanna be in, okay? Here's the strength card coming up twice. So there's a lot of inner strength, Pisces. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of um, strengthening your body, your spirit, your soul, everything about you. And again, this is um, angelic protection. And also for some of you, there may be a Leo in the picture that you're dealing with, okay? What else does Pisces need to know? Yeah, so here's a three of cups coming in Pisces for you. That's a love celebration. And I feel like some of you may be going to a wedding. Some of you may be going to a bridal shower. Some of you may be having that for yourself. And there's an emperor in this picture. So there's a lot of celebration having to do with this emperor energy. Let me talk about this emperor for a second. Um, the emperor can have to do with realtors, um, real estate. The emperor can have to do with a father. The emperor is somebody who's very much in charge. This can sometimes be Aries energy. And this emperor um, really wants to get things done, is very much about the material world and putting things together in a material sense, concrete structures, you know, can be a contractor. Um, can be somebody who sells or buys houses, you know, that sort of thing. Um, really connected with structures. So, and Father came up upright, right next to this love celebration. So I feel like with some of you, you're gonna meet this person or this person's already in your life and there's something to celebrate on that level of what he brings, which is the material things. And uh, that's really super good. And I think it goes right into the strength card where you're gonna feel stronger. Okay, because the strength card came up twice for you, Pisces. That's pretty cool. I love when the cards validate each other, you know, two different decks, and we've got that. So there may be um, being a little bit tight on money or holding on to money at this time. 
um, you are leaving some sort of oppressive situation that you felt like you were like you may have been having nightmares about something was keeping you awake it may have had to do with the penny pinching that I'm seeing in this card but that is coming to an end for you Pisces so that's not going to be bothering you going forward okay they're saying that's all of that card let me switch over they want me to go to this deck we're going to go to these cards and see what else they had to say for you Pisces okay so, so far we've got your field of dreams, which is the biggest thing. If you build it, they will come, okay? So keep that in mind, because that was most significant. Um, going through your ghost lands, building a lot of strength, going through your metamorphosis, knowing your prayers are being answered. You've been very independent, but now you've got this um, emperor energy in your life, or you are the emperor. Take it as it resonates, love celebration. And lots of encouragement with this draft card so let's see what else we need to know for Pisces because things are moving in a really positive direction for you Pisces this is the stork this is news of a birth or a new business opportunity okay I feel like that goes right alongside the field of dreams card let's see what else they want to tell you about that because there's something really big coming up um, you know, when I, when I see that field of dreams card, it really means something big is being built and the emperor, the emperor energy, he builds things. So I feel like there's something really big that's going to, that's building up around you right now, Pisces. Okay. And you're going to see that coming in. I'm going to see if I can get more on it, but they're saying to me, get back to the basics for Pisces. Okay. So there may be, you've worked so hard recently that you've let something slide that you really want to pour your heart and soul into maybe your family it may be an artistic project but something basic so think in terms of what basic things you may have let go or maybe you've just kind of not been able to be as in touch with and to get back in touch with that this is increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals and i think this again goes to the field of dreams so there's two things going on here and I feel like this field of dreams, this new success that's coming up for you is very much in line with your heart and soul. You know, it's something you're really being called to do. I mean, that's what the field of dreams is about. They're being, you know, you're being called by spirit to, you know, build this thing that's going to be really big. And building it doesn't necessarily mean a material structure, but it also can be because of this emperor energy. This is, um, some of you are taking a vacation physically or mentally or you need to, or you just did. Okay, so there's vacation there. What else does Pisces need to know? I'm feeling for the energy as I shuffle through these cards. Okay, really strong card here in the month of June. So something I feel like turned around for you in the month of June. So we're just now a little bit into July. So um, think about the month of June and how you may have gone through a metamorphosis then, because that's what they're saying to me on that. It was a very important month, a very important turnaround for you, metamorphosis, you know, that you went through this transformation and now you're coming out the other side of it, okay? <clears throat> Anything else for Pisces? Yep. Oh, there's a new job or a new career, Pisces. New job or new career showing up for some of you if you're looking for that. And if not, I would say it's probably a new project within that job or an advancement or something along that line, okay? Um, you may be receiving advice from a friend. This is dog barking. However, this advice you may not want to follow. Um, you know, for some of you will, I don't know. I get a weird vibe on that card like, yeah, you're going to get advice from a friend. <laughs> I take that advice with a grain of salt, as they say, okay? <clears throat> Anything else, any other messages for Pisces that you need to know? Vacation again. I think you guys, if you've already been on a vacation, I think you're going on another one. And if you haven't, you're going to be or you need to be. They're really, that's twice now they've mentioned a vacation card, Pisces. Really important. There's two of these coming up. Okay, there's um, somebody who is boastful 
and a secret admirer coming up together, the rooster card, okay? So there may be a secret admirer, but also kind of a boastful person. So just know if this person's being all trying to impress you, they've got a crush on you kind of thing, okay? That's how I take that, because they definitely came up side by side. Woo, look at this Pisces. Wealth card. <laughs> That's all it says, wealth. It's got lots of gold coins on it, okay? This is for you. Um, they're telling me to connect this again to this important field of dreams card there is wealth coming with your field of dreams this is a big deal pisces i can't explain this well enough to really put into words what they're making me feel this is huge this is huge um yeah if you haven't watched that movie i would watch it because i feel like it's really significant for what's going to be coming up in pisces life and i also feel like it's very fifth dimensionally connected okay so um, this is really inspired I feel like it's something like a calling and it may feel like crazy at first but they're not gonna let you get by with it you know they're not gonna let you like lose this opportunity because it's a calling it's a soul contract and it brings wealth of all sorts into your life things that last gold lasts you know it's a lasting thing this is really important. I can't wait to hear more and get more on this. If you already know what your field of dreams is, please leave it in the comments. I can't wait to hear about it. We will definitely keep an eye on this because, I mean, this just feels so huge. I can't even tell you. So um, anyway, on that note, Pisces, you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for coming in. Love you guys.